Hey guys, back at it again. So the other day I uploaded a video to let you guys know I was going to be showing you the repair on the Chevy Equinox 4-cylinder 2.4 liter. This will be the same on many other makes and models that have this same engine and I will list that below. So the P0010, P0011 code came up on this 2017 Chevy Equinox. I thought it was going to be the intake cam sensor. I went ahead and replaced it. It's really hard to see in this video because like the location of it, it's tucked up under the front side of the engine on the driver's side. But you can see right here, it's, it's right there. It's not that hard to get to. It took me about a half an hour to replace it. 10 millimeter bolt holds it in place, but that wasn't the fix for these codes. Let's go ahead and replace the intake VVT solenoid on this thing, and that ended up being the actual fix. She's been driving on this thing for four days, has not had the drivability issues that she was having prior to me replacing these components, and I truly think it really probably would have been fixed with that VVT solenoid, but hey, we got both the sensor and the solenoid, so we know we're going to be good for a super long time on this thing. Both of them ended up having a lifetime warranty, and make sure you look for links in the description below for the tools and the parts to get this job done. It took me about 15 minutes to replace it. After you watch this video, it should probably take about the same amount of time as well. Let's get going on replacing the intake VVT solenoid on this here, 2017 Chevy Equinox. GG is my cameraman. Make sure you give her a shout out and a thumbs up too. Give her some motivation to get out in their garage and help me out some more. Let's get going on this Good VVT man. solenoid replacement. This is the new solenoid the VVT solenoid for the intake side. First, we're gonna see what the ohms of resistance are between the two connections that are inside there. So using a DVOM meter or a voltmeter, gonna to go to ohms of resistance, two prongs, .9, about 11 ohms of resistance on the new one. One thing I did to figure out that this was bad is I pulled the code and disconnected the one on the vehicle and went out and drove it with this one actually disconnected on the vehicle and I had the same exact symptoms. Nothing changed. It was the same exact thing as when the code was on. So we're going to go ahead and replace this one real quick. Doesn't take long. 5 sixteenths nut driver. We're gonna remove the intake that goes from the actual filter to the throttle body. We gotta take this off to be able to get to that solenoid. Over here. You got that one, that one's loosened up. Down over here. Down here, hopefully you can see this, there is another flathead on a hose clamp that's gonna hold the bottom to the throttle body or the bottom of the intake to the throttle body. Just loosen that one up and then over here on the passenger side you have this little hose just pull directly out now everything's loosened up keep pressing the button so we have the intake off set that off to the side you know you have one more cover but to get this one off you got to make sure you take off your oil cap and when you do so make sure you don't drop any garbage down into the oil system itself pull up pull up same with on the back put your cap back on so nothing falls into the oil system and set this one off to the side as well. You're already to the VVT solenoids. So this is your intake solenoid. This is your exhaust solenoid. So let's disconnect the solenoid on the intake side. Two prong connector. The intake side and the exhaust side are different from each other so you can't flip them around. I thought you could. Now to verify that this was the issue, I just disconnected this and went around driving around and I had the same exact issue. Anyway, before we go too far, we could go ahead and check the ohms of resistance on the factory one. 
So zero on the voltmeter. So it's a little bit higher, but we're gonna go ahead and replace it real quick. Got a 10 millimeter on a quarter inch drive with an extension. If you look right inside the valley of the engine, right here is a 10 millimeter. Go back a little bit. Loosen it up all the way. Yeah, the way you went was really good. That hurts. I'm doing them. Yeah. Pair of pliers. Pull directly up on the solenoid. Oh, a little bit of a wiggle, I guess. It's not. Get oil a little bit everywhere. Grab in the new solenoid, a little bit of oil on the O-ring. So we're gonna go ahead and put the solenoid into the hole. When starting the new bolt into the valve cover, don't use the actual socket wrench. Just use the extension, the socket with your fingers so you don't end up cross-threading the bolt into the valve cover. Okay, little issue solved. The factory one was a 10. The aftermarket one is an eight millimeter. So eight millimeter socket to install it. No, Try it again. Try. And we're gonna go to German torque specs of Guden type. Mm -hmm. Guden type. Okay. Right there. And grab your electrical connection. Get that nice click, make sure it's nice and tight. It's not gonna come off while you're driving the vehicle. Before you get too far ahead of yourself, I would really recommend cleaning off the oil you dripped onto the valve cover I'm right there. Distracted. The next day, you're gonna end up taking everything back apart and cleaning it off if you did the same thing I do. Take the oil cap back off. Oil cap. Put your lower engine cover back on. Now these little things right here line up with these and also lines up your hose onto the um, air filter housing. So a bunch of stuff to line up all at once. And then also over here you have the intake tube onto the throttle body as well. Over here on the passenger side again, your little yeah. breather hose. Tighten everything up. <clears throat> this hose down here, or a uh, hose clamp on your throttle body. Hopefully this video did help you out and hopefully the solenoid was your issue. You can see the video was super quick. It didn't take me long, 15, 20 minutes to replace it in real time. Thanks for Gigi to helping me be the cameraman. We got all the lights and everything going on. Well, she was my light man too. But like, subscribe, and share. Comment below with the year, make, and model of the vehicle that this video did help you on. If you have any questions, comment, shoot me a text, shoot me a uh, text, I said text, shoot me a text message, comment below, whatever you need to do. Thanks for watching Scotty's Hobbies. I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.